Andrew from Upway Music here. I look after every, all things banjo in the shop. So I thought we'd uh, have a bit of a chat about banjos. First thing we'll do is we'll just go through what makes up a banjo. Same thing as guitars, headstock, tuning pegs. Banjo, they tend to call them pegs rather than uh, machine heads. Um, dates back to the old days where they used to be friction pegs. Um, just like on violins and stuff, so they still, still refer to them as pegs. We have a fretboard, neck, then it gets a bit different from a, then it gets a bit different from a guitar. We have a banjo head here, which in most day, most times now is um, plastic. In the old days used to be hide, you know, either, either pig or cow. Um, then we have the pot assembly, which is all of this, these parts in behind here. Um, that holds tone rings. Um, there's, a, there's usually a big metal tone ring. That's why banjos weigh a lot. There's a lot of, lot of steel and brass and everything built in them. And then on the back is a resonator. And that's so that the sound comes echoing out the front, which gives it that distinctive banjo sound. At Upwave Music, we carry a lot of banjos. We've usually got about between 10 and 12 in stock and they range from about $200 up to $2,500 is our top of the range. Um, this one I've got here is around about $1,000. It's an American made banjo from the Deering Company. Um, they make lots of really good banjos. Um, what you, the thing that you do have notice with banjos is you do get exactly what you pay for. If you spend a lot of money on a banjo, you get a really good banjo. If you spend a little bit of money on a banjo, you get a little bit of banjo. <laughs> um, you may have noticed I've just changed banjos. This is a second-hand banjo in the shop at the moment. Um, it's a lovely banjo from Queensland. But the thing I'm going to talk about this is um, capoing up on banjos. Banjos are automatically an open G tuning for bluegrass style, scrag style um, picking. So we've got an open G chord here. If you want to play in A, just like in a guitar, you take capo up two frets. But the problem with banjos is you've got this fifth string, which is a drone string. And if I play a, it just sounds really odd with that G note coming through. So what we do, we have these things called railroad spikes and the string just hooks underneath them. And that's how, that's how we capo um, fifth string banjos. So now it's a now it's a lovely A chord. That's the cheapest and easiest way. We can always do that for you here. Put those in if you've got a banjo. They're actually called railroad spikes, and they're called railroad spikes because they're made for the model railroad uh, model railroad industry over in the states. If you are looking for a banjo, um, come in any time. We have a we have a wide range. Everything, like I said before, from two hundred dollars up to two and a half thousand dollars. We have Martinez, we have Recording King, and we have Deering. Deering are the American-made banjos we carry. Um, Recording King and Martinez are all made in China. Um, so come in, come in, sit down. We'll show you how to put picks on properly. Most people put their picks on backwards. You'd be, you'd be surprised. And then uh, come and join us in a, in a banjo pick along at the back of the shop. <laughs>